Uh, Kelly, first of all, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. And um, in my German introduction, I was mentioning that I did an interview with Ron Netolitsky and Walter, like, I don't even know, like two years ago. But um, a lot of things have changed. You had some really good results. You had a share uh, consolidation. Um, and the Golden Triangle is now one of the really hot areas. So, but, but to start off, give us some background about yourself, please. Sure. Um, so I'm I'm a geologist by background. I but don't blame you for that. <laughs> but I uh, I jumped ship and went over to the finance side of, of the industry. So I'm uh, their uh, VP of communications now. So I help them with all their marketing and communications and and also helping to translate what the geologists are saying to a retail and investment community as well. Which is really important. Yeah. So yeah, there, of course there are some legal frameworks which you have to uh, be in line with. Yeah. But at the end, it's the investor who needs to understand what some of of the results that the drilling, the geos bring up, what that really means for the share price. Yeah, and that's also, of course, what I'm trying to do. But I'm not an educated geo, so uh, it's really good to have you on board. So, yeah, tell us wh what happened over the last little while with Skina. Um, I mentioned that you did a, a 10 to 1 rollback of the shares. Um, but besides that, so tell us. G give us an update on, on the, the different projects. Sure, so we have uh, three projects in the Golden Triangle, but our flagship project is the SNP asset, uh, which is right here. That's the past producing mine that we just acquired from Barrick Gold. So we acquired 100% on August 1st of this year. Um, we've uh, posted a bond and we're now underground. So we've accessed the underground workings and we have drills turning. We just started drilling a 9,000 meter program about two weeks ago. Is that diamond drilling? Or? Diamond drilling, yep, from underground. We completed the share consolidation and we also just completed a strategic investment from Sprott and Zijin for six million dollars so lots of news in the last little while and we should have our first drill results out within the next few weeks okay. and also I think one of the big German investment funds is also backing you up yes concept capital management is one of our largest shareholders so we're happy to be here in Germany okay yeah actually it's your first time that you first, appear first time at Munich yep okay good good and, and I guess you uh, enjoy Munich a lot but anyways so um, yeah Talk, let's talk about the. Um, wh how does it come that the Golden Triangle is now really like the, the hot area to look at? Sure. So there's been a lot of improvement in infrastructure in the last few years in the Golden Triangle. There's um, a, a paved highway and power line that goes up to Imperial Metals Red Chris Mine. Um, right by our SNP project, a new hydroelectric facility was built just three years ago. So we now have um, uh, power within 16 kilometers of our project. So all the infrastructure has really reopened up the Golden Triangle. The government's put a lot of money into opening up the area for mining exploration. So it really changes the economics. Um, uh, a lot of projects that weren't very accessible, like our SNP project back in the 90s, it was all fly in, fly out. Now uh, we'll have a road out to site by the end of next year. We're building a road. So um, it really changes the dynamics and a high price of gold and the new infrastructure really changes what cutoff grade you could mine at. So the when the mine closed in 1999, the cutoff grade was 24 grams per ton, which is pretty hard to believe. So now we're modeling up, modeling up the mineralization at a five gram per ton cutoff. So very different um, time than in the 90s. Okay. Um, and you mentioned when we did kind of the pre-talk, you mentioned that you want moving forward, you want to concentrate on SNP, which is your flagship project. Uh, but still, you have the two other, like you have the um, the Spectrum GV and the Port Idaho project. So. So what are the plans for the other two uh, projects? So um, uh, the Porter Idaho project is actually a past producing high grade silver asset that produced in the 1930s and we have a major who's interested in uh, funding exploration on that. We're just working out deal terms now. So by next summer we'll be uh, drilling off at that high grade silver asset but uh, another company will be spending the money to I, earn I missed, it. I missed the name of the major. I didn't say it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but, it but it's announced shortly. Okay, good. So there's news flow to be expected. That's good. Yeah, and the other project on Spectrum? Sure. So Spectrum GJ is a copper gold porphyry. We released a PEA on it um, in April, and we're actively seeking a partner for that. So we're looking at spinning that project out um, into its own vehicle, a copper vehicle, um, so that we can really focus on the SNP project. Good. And yeah, so you already mentioned the plans, but um, like, uh, take a look into the, the crystal ball. Yeah. Um, like two, two years into years, yeah, what will be the situation and what will Skina look like? If it, is, it, is it still around as an independent company? 
so I mean that's always the question. So we're building a team right now for SNP so that we could put it back into production ourselves. So um, you know, drilling will be drilling through the winter, have an initial resource out in the spring, summer of next year. And if all goes to plan, we'll just keep drilling to define our resource at SNP. Do we get bought out? We've had interest from mid-tiers and majors, you know. Um, it's hard to say, but we definitely are building a team that could put SNP back into production ourselves. Okay. No, that, that all sounds good. And, you know, um, I was very impressed when I, was I had the chance to, to do an interview with Ron, yeah, because he's just a character and he's like, so I, I trust that he brings with him, he brings a lot of opportunity and connections to the company, right? Ron Nedelitsky is very well known, you know, in the industry, Canadian Mining Hall of Fame. The projects we have now are a testament to, you know, the legend of that is Ron. He discovered SK Creek and SNP. So what we have in our portfolio today is definitely because of our management team with his leadership. And as you know, yeah, it's all about the management team at the end, right? So because a management team will always, a good management team will always find a good project. Um, but not vice versa, unfortunately. And we're very lucky in that Walter Cole's our current CEO. He's investment banker by background, so it's a it's a wonderful match to have the technical expertise and the financial expertise. It's it's a good pair. And the and the market communication expertise. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much for this update. Thank you, Michael.